Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about B2B advertising insights for your funnel. As B2B marketers and advertisers, a lot of times we are focused solely on one part of the funnel. Today what we're going to discuss is the importance of different areas, what we've seen work and not work and what they work for, and then what we can do today to help make sure you generate leads tomorrow. Now at the top of the funnel, we have a lot of fun thinking about this as B2B marketers, experimenting with, and it's a question and a use case people come to with all the time. They say, hey, we have this white paper, we have this uh, data set, we have this guide, and we'd love to promote it on LinkedIn. Could you guys do that for us? And the answer I always give them is yes, we'd love to do that and we can do very well on LinkedIn, but what, what's your business case for doing that? Because our data shows that just because you're driving a very great conversion rate from LinkedIn, I would consider a very great conversion rate like 40%. So 40% of the people who see your ad on LinkedIn, go to your landing page and let's say download your asset. 40% I think most of us would desire, and we're actually doing that for ourselves at Directive. The problem is, is those 40% aren't turning into opportunities. And so I think as B2B advertisers, we have to be very aware of what we're grading success by for a channel. In other words, LinkedIn might get you amazing downloads at the top of the funnel, but it probably won't turn into opportunities within the same time frame or window of time that you're comparing your other channels. So when we're thinking top of funnel, we have to be aware of what we're doing for that and then use different metrics to compare it to the bottom of the funnel. We can't just point all marketing tactics against one universal metric and think that they're all different values. In other words, you might have a great LinkedIn campaign that's driving brand awareness, that's driving shares, and is driving other metrics like pay-per-click ads from Google up. So the problem is, is if you look at both and say, well, which one's generating more opportunities? And if it's not generating at least 10 opportunities a month at this cost per opportunity, we're going to shut it off. And the reality is, is sometimes this top of funnel campaigns really support the bottom and you don't just want to shut them off because they're not hitting the same metrics as your bottom of funnel campaigns. So the takeaway here is as B2B advertisers, we should judge our top of funnel campaigns by a different set of metrics than our bottom of funnel. And then you can compare all your different top of funnel channels, podcast, YouTube ads, the Google display ads, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, Twitter ads against the same set of metrics. But don't do the mistake of lump lumping all of your top of funnel campaigns and comparing those metrics against your bottom of funnel campaigns because LinkedIn was made for a different purpose for B2B advertisers than Google search ads were. And it's important that we recognize these differences and appreciate the channels and the stages of the funnel for what they are. Directive Consulting focuses almost its efforts exclusively on bottom of the funnel campaigns. As an agency and a third party, we like to directly correlate ourselves to opportunities created. And we found that clients find us more valuable and are more likely to retain us and keep us if our efforts are always correlated to leads going into their pipeline, opportunities being created, deals being closed, and revenue being generated. And so we really like to stay in that arena. Now, the problem that we constantly see all the time is a lot of B2B companies still haven't started to appreciate the bottom of the funnel for what they should. In other words, they are very willing to invest in conferences. They are very willing to invest in content. They are very willing to invest in sales reps. They're very willing to invest in anything that allows them to feel comfortable with their status quo and get their brand out there. The problem is every time you do a top of funnel campaign, you need to improve the bottom of the funnel as well. Because what you're doing right at the top of the funnel, you are generating demand not only for your company, but all companies and similar competitors that sell or offer a solution similar to yours. In other words, 
you're running radio ads for why you should be using ZipRecruiter as a business to hire, you are also advertising for people to think that, oh my gosh, there is a software out there for HR that can distribute job postings to all the different job boards, which then drives demand for places like Jazz, Workable, and other providers that have a similar solution. So what happens if you're a ZipRecruiter and you're running all these radio ads and these podcast ads, yet when people search for HR software, you aren't showing up. You're not actually capturing your top of funnel investment. Because remember, if you're using different metrics for the top of the funnel, like shares, brand impressions, clicks, time on site, and then bottom of funnel metrics like opportunities, deals, and revenue, then you literally are forgetting about capturing the demand that you're creating. And so it's critical as B2B advertisers that at the top of the funnel, we have our demand generation campaigns with their own metrics, but at the bottom of the funnel, we have our lead generation campaigns with their own metrics. And it's critical that we're doing both. So at Directive, we invest in conferences, we sponsor podcasts, we do paid social, but we don't expect all of those things to directly correlate to new opportunities at the same rate that our SEO does, that our search ads do, and that our paid lists do. And I, the last one I wanna to talk to you about today is paid lists. Paid lists and share a SERP, you've probably heard me talk about before if you've been watching our previous episodes. And those paid lists come in all shapes and sizes. We invest heavily in them here at Directive on sites like Clutch.co, 10 Best SEO, Credo, uh, Moz, Unbounce. Some of them are paid, some are natural that you just earn, but we always wanna show up on there. And the reason why is because on these lists, Google has started to prioritize them ranking at the bottom of the funnel. So if you search top ERP software and go look on your computer, I can almost guarantee you that the top 10 results are all paid lists of some way, shape, or form. You could also search best ERP software or ERP software reviews. Now these keywords are simultaneously, in my guesstimating here, the most expensive keywords for you to advertise on with search ads because they're at the very bottom of the funnel and they're expressing buyer intent. It's critical that you show up in these areas, but let's remember, search ads have a higher cost per click and average a two to 5% click through rate. Comparably, you could do these paid lists, which rank in the top three for your bottom of funnel keywords, who generate at the 30% click through rate mark at the first position, around 20 something at the second, and 15% or so at the third. In other words, you can 3X, 4X, or even 6X your volume of people going to your landing page from paid lists compared to that of search ads. This is critical to keep into consideration and you really do need to start making sure that you're on these paid lists and you're active there and you're capturing all the demand that you're generating at the top of the funnel. Your top of funnel campaigns are critical to your brand awareness, generating demand for your product or services, and help build your, your brand. But the reality is, is you need different metrics to judge those campaigns by than those at the bottom of funnel so you keep actually doing your top of funnel campaigns. Because if you look at it just the same as your AdWords, usually the cost per opportunity is far higher and, and they just aren't meant for the same reasons. They're not direct response campaigns. But at the bottom of the funnel, it's critical that we have our search ads at the bottom of the funnel for our most valuable keywords. It's critical that we have great content that's ranking organically. And it's really important that we show up on these third-party sites and paid lists. Those paid lists have 30% click-through rates if they rank number one for your keyword, while your ad is gonna have two to 5% click-through rate. If you wanna 6X your lead volume, start to think outside of your own website in search ads and look at what paid lists rank for keywords that you care about. Thanks and have a great day. Feel free to leave a comment uh, below with any questions or any insight of what you've learned from your B2B advertising funnel and kind of the campaigns you've tested. And as always, please subscribe. Have a great day.